As you guys can already tell from the title of this video, exactly who I'm going to be talking about, the big player that's coming into the residential system living industry, and why this is very exciting, why this is very important, kind of the pros and cons of this person coming into this industry, and hopefully I can give you guys some insight on the thoughts that I'm thinking about uh, while seeing someone like this come into this industry. So if you guys are interested, make sure to stick around. What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have shown this channel. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to go check out the academy that I've created down below. Uh, and guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and actually jump into the topic of this video. Now, before I jump into the screen share of the video of Robert Kiyosaki actually talking about the residential assisted living opportunity and how he's involved and what he's doing with it. Um, if you guys don't know who Robert Kiyosaki is, uh, he actually wrote this book that is very popular, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Another one is Cash Flow Quadrant. If you guys have not, um, I've actually read all of these two uh, books, but you know he's also written a book uh, with Donald Trump. If you guys have not uh, read that book either, uh, feel free to go check him out. Um, really great, uh, very smart individual when it comes to finances and how he looks at money and how he utilizes and leverages other people's money. And it's just a really good uh, way to understand his perspective and how he looks at everything. So I'm actually going to talk on that when he's actually discussing this whole opportunity. Uh, there are some things that he says that instantly makes me think of the one thing that I always preach on when it comes to this channel is all these real estate investors coming into this industry and in a sense kind of uh, messing it up, but also creating opportunities for other people if they do it the right way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the screen share. Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm going to be at the Residential Assistant Living Conference October 5th, this Saturday, at the Arizona Grand Resort. And for all of you who are hot on real estate. So this right here, uh, this comment right here, for those who are hot on real estate, right? Uh, that's where I always preach against it because... You know, this is what the issue is, is that these real estate investors think they can come in and just invest in a ton of real estate and have a lot of success with it. Uh, props to Robert Kiyosaki for getting into this industry and doing exactly, you know, what he intentionally has in mind to do by, you know, buying up real estate. But I don't know how much he knows on the operation side, which I know he's not going to get involved with. It's not something that he's probably going to be interested in doing. Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's things that he could do outside of this. But with that being said, guys, let's continue moving forward. Like I am. I'm going to be talking about the number one real estate investment thing you can get into today is residential assisted living. Number one. He says it's the number one thing. Um I could agree with him on that. I mean, it is definitely a massive opportunity. He sees that. He understands that. Uh, it's very important that you guys also understand how important that is uh, while you guys are doing research on this industry. He wouldn't just say that. Maybe he would just so he can promote all this and kind of promote, you know, the event and everything. But, you know, he goes on to say uh, things that he's invested in or, you know, development that he has going on right now. Uh, here in the state of Arizona, here in Phoenix. So let's go ahead and continue watching and see what else he says. It's what it's the business I am in right now. <clears throat> My wife and I are developing a huge property. On <laughs> Is it me or he sounds like a little bit like Donald Trump right there? Huge. On Camelback and 32nd Street again. Poor guy doesn't even know his own development that's going on. No, <laughs> I mean, this just says a lot. I, I, I'm I, a small fish, honestly, in this whole entrepreneurship. I mean, come on. Like, how seriously is he taking this? The guy can't even think of where his own property is at. And I mean, he's probably got so much real estate that he's probably just forgotten. But regardless, though, that's just kind of, that is kind of funny that he 
just doesn't. Yes, I forgot already. <laughs> like he makes fun of himself. So I mean, he's got a sense of humor, which is really cool, and I appreciate that and respect that. Um, I also respect him from an entrepreneur um, side of things. So you know, but, but it's about a six acre development. It's I tried to look up um, properties that are going up on the thirty second and Camelback. Uh, there is a property or a real estate assisted living development going up, but it's more of a commercial. So, uh, you know, maybe it's his, maybe it's not, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to try to put it on here just because I wasn't sure if it was his or if it was someone else's development. So regardless, I'm sure he's involved somehow, uh, by leveraging other people's money, his own money, whatever, but multi, multi, multi millions of dollars. It's a lot of multis, if you ask me. What is that? Three multis? <laughs> a lot of money. Um, some crazy development he's going after. So it says a lot. But I'm very excited about res residential assisted living because this one thing you cannot stop, <clears throat> if you're lucky, is getting older. That's, that's, that's facts. He's spitting out facts. Uh, that's very true. That's something you cannot stop. It's something that will always be around. Uh, I'm going to be old one day. Um, from, you know, this book to how he looks now, I mean, he understands aging is just part of the process. It's just, it's going to always be there. So. so I'm building this beautiful project along with another company. Robert, if you are ever going to watch this, I would love to come see your property. Um, I would offer to come manage it, but guess what, um, you know. I'm going to develop that own property one day, and I will see you there. Um, I will create that. As well. Because I plan to be the number one tenant. He, I think he's, I think he, I think what he meant by that is that he's going to live in his own um, assisted living. I think, I think is what he was joking about that. So I, I like the fact that he has a sense of humor. Obviously, he's laughing. He's enjoying it. He, you know, he gets it. Which is really cool. Um, it's very rare that you see people at his level of success just joking and having fun with it. So, <laughs> so I'll see you at the residential assisted living uh, convention. If, even if you're not in that business of real estate, please come and attend. Simply because it is going to be the hottest real estate project to be in today. So that's October 5th, this Saturday. Arizona Grand Resort. See you there. So ultimately, guys, as you can tell, he's actually involved in the business by, you know, having putting multi, multi million dollar investment in this whole opportunity. He sees it. He understands it. And the pros of him coming into this industry is really going to give a lot of people something to think about as they, you know, as they get older, as their parents get older. Uh, because like he said, aging is part of the process. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. And people are going to need that care. They are going to need that service. And he's more approaching it from a real estate aspect. Uh, he sees that, you know, real estate can be developed and most likely this could be something that will be really well when it comes to the cash flow aspect of everything. Uh, and Hopefully, he's building a great team of people around him that understand the business. I'm sure he is. Um, I know he's probably connected with Gene Garino and other different people in this area. And he's probably going to utilize those resources to help develop that team uh, and employees, etc. And at the same time, he's he's got the resources to do that. I mean, financially, uh, to really get this up and going and develop a great business for himself and a great portfolio. Uh, but with that being said, guys, um, looking at someone like Robert Kiyosaki compared to someone like myself, someone like probably like yourselves, uh, I will one day be at that level. I know I will. Uh, I'm not doubtful about that. And but it's it's something to for us to feel good about because it, it's someone who's invested a lot of that a lot of their time and energy and efforts in being successful. And looking at opportunities and seeing those opportunities and seeing someone like him come into the industry is very encouraging, um, not only for myself, but for you guys, uh, because, you know, you don't got a lot of these um, very entrepreneurial people with huge platforms getting into stuff like this. And me 
being 24 now, uh, it's I feel like I'm on the right path compared to a lot of my peers and a lot of people around me. And therefore, you know, a lot of people would look at myself and be like, you're 24, like, why would you get into this industry? But now that I look at it, someone like Robert Kiyosaki getting into it um, just makes me, you know, feel like I'm doing the right thing. And I've always done, I've always felt like I was doing the right thing uh, from the get go. But at the same time, it's just more reassuring. Someone like this is getting into this industry. It's going to only blow it up more. Uh, once he starts announcing it, once it starts, you know, he, he probably talks about it on his podcast, which he probably has millions of listeners. I listen to his podcast and that's only going to blow this industry up more. Um, and yes, could you say that it would get way more saturated than it is now? Potentially, but there is a massive wave of baby boomers coming in and I don't know if we'll be able to meet the demand as quickly as it comes. Uh, you know, the supply that's going to have to be there, you know, and with everything that comes with uh, the whole shortage of caregivers and CNAs and nurses, etc. Is it going to be able to sustain this kind of demand? Uh, I guess time will tell. I guess that's a, a con to this entire thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to predict. Uh, but as of right now, you know, for the most part, it's a really great investment if you guys are looking to do it, whether it's on the real estate aspect, like maybe like someone like Robert Kiyosaki, uh, or you're doing it for other reasons, such as, you know, you want to take care of your loved one or you do it for yourselves, right? And you want to set up your own residential place and eventually, you know, place your parents or yourself in there. And, and that could be something that you're looking forward to as well. Uh, but guys, understand that the con to this whole thing is that I don't think people really take in consideration um, all the other things that factor into running a successful residential assisted living business. And I'm sure Robert has taken all precaution to make sure that he gets everything set up. And hopefully he does. I mean, I would love to meet him one day and discuss his whole journey of starting his own residential assisted living business and you know things of that sort so uh with that being said guys just know that this is a really good opportunity and people are capitalizing on it like robert kiyosaki um and he's just one of those people that people know he's had success with everything that he's done and if you guys haven't read any of his books yet go read his books they're his story is so good and what you know from where he started and how he looks at money and everything and if you're if you're at the level that Robert is uh, yeah real estate may be the way to do it um, running the operations day to day he's definitely gonna build a system everybody has a system and you know reading his books that's exactly what he's gonna do right he's gonna build a system and he's gonna you know um, finance that entire system and make sure that it runs smoothly and that should be your ultimate goal uh, but for people like myself and people that are smaller, you know, you're kind of on the quadrant of the S, right? Small business, self-employed, uh, you know, portion of the quadrant. So just go read his books. So you guys will know what I'm talking about when it comes to that. Um, and hopefully Robert sees this. And if he does, hopefully he reaches out. I would love to sit down and talk with him and potentially do a collab and a video and eventually get on a podcast with him and I think it would be really cool to do something like that. But yeah, guys, uh, be encouraged by this entire video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, feel free, hit that like button for me. If you have not yet, smash that subscribe button for me. And also go watch all these other videos if you have not yet. And guys, uh, again, thank you so much for all the love and support on this channel. And until next time, guys, God bless.